Hello good people, I'm Dmitry from Hardware Canucks and today we're learning all about Corsair IQ software, the basics, the hidden features and how to make your life easier. IQ is a utility software that powers all of Corsair's RGB devices, gaming peripherals and DIY products. And by the end of this tutorial, we're all gonna be IQ masters. Whoa. By the way, this is one of my favorite pieces of software because everything is in real time without the need to click save. You have visual indicators, copying effects is easy, and you can even save effects to a lighting library for later use. And you gotta appreciate the lighting consistency across devices. If you use the instant lighting option, everything syncs up with beautiful consistency. <clears throat> Let's begin with tip number one. You can link profiles to different applications, whether it be gaming, productivity software, or whatever else, with which all your lighting, performance settings and macros will change accordingly once that program is launched. For example, I've disabled all the lighting on my system when I launch into DaVinci Resolve for editing, so I don't have any distractions. My fans also kick in and all the keyboard macros load up for DaVinci Resolve, including a custom keyboard lighting layout. Nice. If I alt tab back to Chrome or desktop, my beautiful system lighting configuration lights up and fans go to idle while loading any of my games activates a custom fan profile and the really cool lighting effects on my RAM. Because we all know the effect RGB has on your gaming performance, am I right? Tip number two. I hope that's in frame. Hardware lighting settings will keep the RGB rainbow away when you lock your PC, during system boots, or if IQ isn't running. This can be set for your RAM as long as full software control is toggled off in the settings tab, so whatever lighting effect you pick will load up even if IQ isn't running. Hardware lighting for fans can also be enabled with its own section inside the lighting effects tab for any fans connected through the lighting controllers and AIO coolers. And any peripherals that support hardware lighting also have their own hardware hardware lighting section to configure and must be saved to onboard profiles so all that color goodness is loaded when IQ isn't running. Moving on, mini tip number three. Foot number three, yeah. Your RAM. For RGB Corsair memory, you can rotate individual dim slots in the software under dim setup to match the direction of lighting effects on both sides. For example, so the rain effect follows the same direction on all dims and you don't have to change the effect direction on half of your RAM. And you can even rearrange some dims inside IQ if your motherboard uses a custom layout and the same can be done with fans either rotating the fans in the software to match their orientation in the build and even rearrange the fans so color effects follow a proper order. Tip number four, the notification system is actually pretty genius that works with your RAM, your coolers, and the Commander Pro with the Hydro X series. That will blast your fans when you reach a custom temperature limit. You can have a visual trigger too with lighting override, play a custom sound if the system is out of sight, and in risky scenarios, even shut down the computer with an optional timer delay. Mini tip number five, you can now control the lighting of your Asus or motherboard directly from IQ with individual zone controls and a full color sync across all connected devices. Tip number six, this is my favorite one, you can create cool color layers for your RGB fans. For example, my LL series fans have interior and outer LEDs. So the first layer should have all LED sections selected with your desired color or effect. Then you create a new layer on top and highlight the LEDs you want to change. For example, the interior four. Now we have lots of cool ways to display color, create gradients, mix dynamic lighting with static. You can tie this with tip number one where the color effects all change when you launch a certain application. So the system looks proper and please, no RGB puke. And tip number seven, the dashboard module is actually pretty fantastic for system monitoring, letting you add system info items and any compatible Corsair product in there too. And here you can arrange each module for simple observation, pop out individual graphs within each component and observe the health of your system. <sighs> And to finish up, IQ-enabled products span Corsair's entire portfolio. From fancy quality keyboards, to sexy Capellix memory, to powerful AIO coolers, to beautiful RGB fans connected through the Commander Pro, the Lighting Note Core, or the Note Pro, and of course, gaming mice and headsets. It's a cool piece of software that lets you play through whatever. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching, and please remember IQ responsibly.